Hello everybody, I'm Veronica Mi from Mi Paintings and today I'd like to show you how to make a super simple flip cap with only two colors. I'll be using this dark teal, I'd say, and white, titanium white. I've got my old pour here, which I don't like, so I will be pouring all over it. But it's okay to use new canvas, but if you've got some old pours, you can reuse them and repour re re on them. Um, this Thalo, this this turquoise is a mixture of turquoise and a little bit of this Thalo blue. I wanted it to be quite dark and I know it will get darker when it gets dry. So I hope it will, I'll get some nice contrast. And I mixed my colors with pouring medium. I mix 50% of pouring medium and 50% of acrylic colors. It's my pouring medium. I use PVA glue. Lots of you ask me why do I use PVA glue. It's because I can't buy fluoroethyl in my country. That's the only reason. And it's cheaper. If you use PVA glue, this don't turn yellow. It's good. I bought this in local art shop. I, I'm sorry, I don't have a link to this one, but it's PVA glue. So I think you'll be able to find some at your local art shop or a, a supermarket. And I used 60% of PVA glue and 40% of water. That creates my pouring medium. I will also put two drops of silicone oil in each color in my turquoise one two one two and in my white as well so let's mix this up a little bit not too much i would like to get some nice interesting cells and look at the consistency it's quite it's quite thick i don't want these two colors mixed too much i'd like to have some nice contrast so here's my cup and I start with white. So let's pour white on the bottom. And then I'll just mix turquoise, white, turquoise, white. And so on. So that's turquoise. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna mix it up a little bit like this. One mix. To give it a little spin. So here comes the moment of truth. The most exciting. And also the most frightening part. But I love this part. When I don't know what will I get. So let's see. Blop. Mm, blop. <sighs> blop, blop. Oh. Ooh, I can see some cells already. Let's get this color out of my cup. I don't like wasting anything. looks boring but I hope it will create some interesting cells I'm not gonna use torch or heat gun at the moment because firstly I will move all this color around my canvas and then I will use my heat gun to create some amazing cells Okie dokie, now that looks like some space theme. This looks like planet Saturn, some beautiful... Should I keep it like this? 
I don't get many cells, but it looks interesting. And now I think I'm gonna use my heat gun. Just a cheap heat gun from Lidl, which works well for me. And time for a little magic. what it didn't end up the way I want it so I'm gonna I've got some leftover white here and I'm gonna pour it in the middle and make a swipe it might create something interesting I'm using this piece of plastic which I got I don't know where I got it from but I'm sure if you go to some print print shop or art shop they'll get some piece of plastic so let's try it looks like little balloons For my heat gun. I love these cells. and that's amazing I'm gonna try to tilt it down a little bit should I try to tilt it all the way down or not I don't like the fact that there is that too much white in the middle although it looks looks interesting when I look at it I'm gonna try to use this sponge in the middle to create more interesting middle part like this Well, not exactly the way I imagined it. Let's save it with balloon. Little balloon. It's dirty because I've got dirty hands. And I'm just gonna make these.
it's much better than it looks like flowers. Let's just mend this one. Ooh, I like this much more. It's beautiful. Oh yes, that's absolutely amazing. I love that. Look how beautiful these cells are. Oh, wow. I love these. I'm gonna let this dry and I think I'm gonna paint some flowers when these gets dry. So see you soon. Bye. Hello everyone, welcome back. And my pour is dry and I love how this turned out. I see beautiful flowers in these and I would like to embellish them with my water drops. And for that I will just use these nice round coins to create, to draw a nice round shape. I'll use my white permanent thing uh, and I'll just draw nice round shapes around these and then I will continue making them, turning them into beautiful water drops which will symbolize the middle part of beautiful flower. So this is my first one and I also make some smaller ones because I at the beginning I wanted to paint some flowers in the middle with acrylic colors but then I decided it will be nicer if I just keep it quite abstract and just give a little feel of beautiful flowers because I love how these cells turned out they are amazing And now time to use my white and black acrylic color to create beautiful water drops on my flowers. I will be using two types of brushes. The white one will be for white, second one will be for black and then some blending brush for blending my colors. I will start, let's show you a little detail. This one is nice. Can you see that? Yep. So I will start with black part, which will be on the top and my light will be coming from this way. So the shadow will be under here and the top part, dark part will be at the top. So this, it, it helps me. This white circle helps me a lot and it's much easier for me to paint nice round circle like this. And then I will use my blending brush, put it in a little bit of water and try to blend my black color nicely so it creates nice shading. Like this. And here comes the white part. I actually swapped the brushes, but that's okay. This one will be for white. So here comes the white part, the bottom part of my water drop. And again, I use my... Let's put a little bit more white in there. I want the white bottom part to be quite light 
So I will put my blending brush in water and nicely blend it like this. Then I try to blend these edges all together, so it's nice. Let's put a little bit more white in here. Sometimes it takes a while before you find the right shades for your bubble but you'll get there it just needs a little bit of practice yep this should be all right and now my shadow underneath my water drop so I will try to paint a nice half circle which will be a shadow underneath my water drop. It's a little hard for me because I've got my camera in front of me. But I hope you get the idea. It's not perfectly round. But I'll try to mend it. And blend it. Well, that's actually a little bit bigger than I wanted, so let's take a little bit of that paint off with wet brush. When your paint is still wet, you can easily take it off, which is great. If you make a mistake, you can always mend it. And blend it nicely. Like this, that's, that's much better. Just a little shade underneath my bubble. like that yeah. the white part is a little bit wobbly so let's mend it like that and now my reflection up here I will paint just a nice little reflection here mm. 
Nice, and you can also paint a little reflection down here just for the feel. Like that, then you've got your nice little water drop in the middle of your flower. Now let's paint all of these and I will show you the finished result soon. And here's the result of my balloon flower acrylic pour with water drops. And I simply love how this turned out. I love these little water bubble flowers. I'm so happy with these beautiful cells. I hope this video was inspirational for you and if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel or hit the notification bell so you receive notification every time I upload a new video or you can also join my Facebook group which is called create with me and show me your beautiful art. I wish you good health, stay safe and create beautiful art. Thank you so much for watching and for your support. See you soon. Bye.